the Israelites. Not just a people with a unique cultural and religious history, but also a people imbued with a profound sense of divine purpose. We the chosen people of God, children of the Grand Architect, have a sacred covenant that has set us apart and guided us through the ages. The Israelites, our great parents, were held captive in Egypt for over 400 years. During this time, they suffered from forced labor, oppression, and slavery under the Egyptian pharaohs. Despite their harsh treatment, the Israelites continued to cling to their faith and traditions, waiting for the day when they would be free. According to the biblical account, the events leading to their eventual escape from Egypt began with the birth of Moses. The majestic liberator and lawgiver, the humble servant of God, and a fearless prophet, Moses, who was born an Israelite but was raised as an Egyptian, grew up to become a leader of his people. One day, while he was tending to his flock, he encountered God in the form of a burning bush. God revealed to Moses that he had been chosen to lead the Israelites out of bondage in Egypt and into the Promised Land. Moses confronted Pharaoh and demanded the release of the Israelites, but Pharaoh refused. As a result, God sent a series of plagues upon Egypt, wrought by the hand of God, ravaged the land and brought forth chaos and destruction, as rivers turned to blood, darkness consumed the earth, and the wails of the afflicted echoed through the air, foretelling the coming of the end to oppression for the Israelites. The final plague, the death of the firstborn, struck Egypt, and Pharaoh was moved to action. He ordered the Israelites to leave Egypt, and they fled with haste, taking with them their flocks and possessions. As the Israelites journeyed through the desert, the angel of God went before them, leading the way with a steadfast hand. But as they fled from Pharaoh and his army, the angel moved behind them, a watchful guardian over their backs. The pillar of cloud that had guided them during the day now moved from before them and stood behind them, a wall of protection between the Egyptians and the Israelites. The cloud cast a shadow of darkness over the Egyptians, shrouding them in a veil of obscurity, while at the same time illuminating the path of the Israelites with a soft and comforting glow. As the night wore on, the cloud remained steadfast, a beacon of hope and a symbol of the power of their God. The Egyptians did not dare to approach, for they knew that they were no match for the might of the Almighty. As the Israelites continued to flee from Egypt and Pharaoh's army, they found themselves trapped between the Red Sea and the pursuing army. The Israelites stood at the edge of the Red Sea, the water stretching out before them as far as the eye could see, a barrier that seemed impossible to breach. Behind them, Pharaoh's army was closing in, their chariots and horses thundering towards them with deadly intent. But in that moment of desperation, Moses raised his staff towards the heavens and called out to God with a voice that echoed across the land. The sky darkened, and a mighty wind began to blow, stirring the waters of the sea into a frenzy. And then, with a thunderous roar, the waters began to part, the sea churning and boiling in response to Moses' prayer. A path of dry land emerged from the depths, stretching out before them like a shining beacon of hope. The Israelites stood in awe, their eyes fixed on the miracle before them. They stepped tentatively onto the dry seabed, their feet sinking into the sand, but finding solid ground beneath. As they crossed the sea, their backs to the towering walls of water on either side of them, they could hear the pounding hooves of Pharaoh's army as they charged towards them. But they pressed on, their faith in God and their determination to be free carrying them forward. And then, with a sudden rush, the waters came crashing down, enveloping Pharaoh's army in a swirling maelstrom of chaos and destruction. The Israelites emerged on the other side, their hearts filled with wonder and gratitude for the miracle that they had just witnessed. The imagery of the parting of the Red Sea is awe-inspiring. 
The walls of water on either side of the path created by God's power must have been a terrifying and humbling sight for the Israelites. The story highlights the power of faith and the protection that God can provide to those who believe in Him. The parting of the Red Sea is also a reminder of the transformative power of obstacles. In the desert of life, we often find ourselves trapped between the fears of the past and the uncertainties of the future, just like the Israelites were when they faced the Red Sea. But in those moments of doubt and despair, we can look to the example of Moses and learn to part paths of hope in all our ways. Like Moses, we must first have faith in something greater than ourselves, whether it is God, our inner strength, or the power of our own minds. With this faith as our guide, we can then raise our staffs towards the heavens and call out to God, who has the unpronounceable name, to which he who pronounces the name with its own letters has no part in the world to come, knowing that the universe will answer in its own time and way. As we wait for the path to open before us, we must remain patient and persistent, never giving up hope or succumbing to despair. For even when the way ahead seems blocked and the obstacles seem insurmountable, there is always a path to be found if we have the courage to look for it. And when that path does finally reveal itself, we must step forward with confidence and determination, trusting in our own abilities and the support of those around us. With each step we take, we create a new path of hope for ourselves and for others, a path that leads towards a brighter and more fulfilling future. So let us be like Moses, parting paths of hope in all our ways. And let us never forget that no matter how difficult the journey may seem, we are never truly alone as long as we have faith and the courage to keep moving forward.